So I thought I'd try to cover as many different topics as I can this time. And we'll start off with Subverse. I might end up just making a Subverse video on it, I don't know. But Subverse is a game that recently has, um, I don't want to say has been released, but you know, it's kind of debuted. And they've shown off with their Kickstarter that's reached their stretch goals, everyone was praising. It started off with this ad, which I absolutely love its trailer, where it's just a a porn game with funny shots taken at the game industry, a lot of different things that I've been quite annoyed at, that say a, a porn game. And as you may know from my videos, if you've ever watched them, you would know that I'm someone that plays quite a bit of porn games. And so I kind of go in expecting from porn games a certain level of uh, certain, um, I won't say level of quality, but certain expectations. And they say that they will be a better porn game f for people who have been wanting um, people on Steam to do a better porn game because everyone that releases on Steam release some god awful quality, right? And then I I hear more details about the game and I see that it's it's not so much a porn game where it just kind of has sex scenes and then it just shifts. Uh, it has a story there to kind of just fill the gaps with uh, jokes and shots that the industry and shit before moving in before transitioning into another sex scene which is what i kind of hope for but it looks like it's full-on XCOM game where it's more of a game with sex on the side like say mass effect or the witcher where you know sex is just kind of an element there but instead of kind of having it censored out or skimmed over it's like fully fleshed out scenes which to me is just very underwhelming because i really want people to explore that more and so i was kind of expecting more things like uh changeable adjustable speeds i was expecting camera swaps you know position picking picking you know kind of like how in a rpg game you get to pick dialogue choices instead you get to pick positions or whatever you know just being able to change certain things like being able to turn yourself invisible or not enabling and disabling certain sounds or whatever or voices and you know, just general options that you would expect to be in a sex game if you've ever played any of the good ones. <laughs> the, there's also, what is it, the the one thing that I always am like, this is a must for a sex game as well, is just one-handed controls, because they almost never do that, which is infuriating. Even with some of the good ones, they there's only a couple of the good ones that really do one-handed controls, and it's like, you're a sex game, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, I do hope that it, even though it's um, kind of skeptical for me because I'm like, it only sounds like that because, you know, I can I can see a sex scene. I can see that in like Pornhub or whatever, you know, like there's plenty of other places you can see sex from. It's, it's the interactability that games come with it that I'm like, yeah, I want to see this evolve more. If it's not having that, then it's like I can get my XCOM from an actual XCOM game along with many others that are simulating it. Even Gears of War is trying to simulate it with a shitty pop what pop fuzz or whatever the fuck that that stupid shit is and and like you can get just about everything else the game has you know like you the jokes is like the only thing that really sticks out to me now really because like it's not like any of the women are any hotter or you know special to me than any other chicks i've seen before in games or whatever i mean we don't really know enough about the character or whatever but i i do want it to be successful because you know if I am supportive, I'm one of those few people that are supportive of porn stars moving down from porn, retiring from it, to become YouTubers and Twitch streamers, because I think it's a hell of a lot of a better lifestyle for them to be able to financially support themselves as just that, than it is doing something that society generally frowns upon and looks down on and thinks that they shouldn't be able to be self-sufficient from just that, like, like, you know, just general fucking assholes. See, I, I am kind of a bit glad that, you know, people are getting hype about it, and I do hope it does well, that it is capable of um, pleasing me to some extent, you know, that it is capable of being good and starting something, because I see that as more of a start for porn games than anything, because they're really generally just small niche things. Um, I, I have noticed a lot of YouTubers were getting to a and that was before the controversy and the lawsuit thing. But yeah, that's big. Um, five minutes, that's pretty good. Alright, next one is the lawsuit between Sony 
and the A Triple C, which is like cons uh, digital consumer rights in Australia or something. And Sony, if a while back, I don't, I don't think I made a video on it, but um, if you've been staying up with the news, then you would have heard that the consumer, um, what is it, that Sony wasn't abiding by Australian consumer laws for their digital distribution line, where, in other words, you can buy games on um, PlayStation for the, the digital copies, you can download them, and you their refund policy, well, in Australia, you have to be able to get a refund for your games after having played it, and the reason why it has to be after, which is actually stated in the lawsuit, one of the reasons when they were lodging a because they're actually going to go to court, they've said, is that you have to, like, to be able to tell whether the game's faulty or not, you can only do so by having played the game. But if you play the game on PlayStation, you're not able to refund it. I mean, I don't have a PlayStation 4 for sure, so I can't entirely confirm that, but that's what it, it sounds like from, from what I've been reading. My general thought on this is, just like with Valve, when... The Belgium made CSGO loot boxes illegal. For some reason, they didn't make loot boxes in Team Fortress 2 illegal, but I really hope they do. I also hope other people do. They wait. They didn't say anything. They waited till the very last minute, and the day just before the it, it was made law, they simply removed it, put out a patch, and put out an official statement saying. Was sorry for the inconvenience while mumbling under their breath. I hate you guys, fucking earthles. You know, like pent up aggression. That's one of the routes they could do where they eventually just end up obliging by Australian laws. And the annoying thing is, before then, any time these companies would have legal push back, they would generally just make it worldwide the guidelines just because they they would fear that others would follow suit and because it's just easier to do it for everyone instead of just a small group but now they can just do it for a small group so i'm just wondering if their refunds will just be for australia or they could go the other way because sony's recently said in a statement a press statement recently to my surprise where they said that console gaming is a niche crowd so they could generally just because they they've seen anime as a uh, niche crowd which they have been censoring heavily recently if you've also been staying on the news there i have covered that one a couple times in my channel they could just end up being like nah fuck it we don't need to worry about this and just simply stop selling to australians which i doubt they would because we are quite a large market we aren't the leading markets like china and uh russia and america are but we are still a sizable crowd. We aren't a small country by a long shot. So it's, it seems a bit weird that they would go that route, but it is another possibility. I really highly doubt it, but you know, that, that's just kind of my theory is that they'll go through one of those routes. I don't see them immediately responding or even having some sort of comment back saying, like EA did, where they're like, this isn't illegal, we, we disagree with it. Like, I don't imagine sony doing that um they could end up doing that which really wouldn't be a good move for them at all like there's no, nothing good they can really say back to that publicly anyway yeah i only, I only see them waiting to last minute for whatever they're gonna do sadly but i am curious to see where it goes i hope they end up just making it worldwide even though i think they keep it restricted to just australia whatever the problem would be and Randy Pitchford has, a, once again, we found out that what Randy did to the Claptrap um, person, because I was wondering for a while when I heard about the um, Claptrap actor and Randy, the whole complaints there, he talked about assault, and I'm like, oh, well, you, you wouldn't make that up because that would make him liable for libel. Um, if he's, his accusations were false, you know, it's not going to go well for him. And generally, Randy would speak up if, you know, there was someone lying or shit-talking him. He would, like, even if it was only a slight or a misunderstanding, he'd still go crazy on it. And he's gone radio silent, so I was just thinking, he's probably right, because, you know, it's, it's not some small claim to make. But then we found out that it was simply a push, because, you know, again, a soul can be anything from a push to a fucking choke slam you know like but as well i want to say that pushes can be quite harmful it doesn't 
necessarily need a um a cliff to make it harmful to someone. It it can just be that they're a flatbed like one of my friends got pushed into a flatbed and it completely fucked up their spine. And you know, so so just moving on from there, it, it seems like it's probably one of the worst things that Randy's done, apart from getting away with watching child porn. Um, I haven't seen where that comes from, where where there's actual um, proof or whatever, but I did hear from Jim Sterling, so if I'm wrong about that, that's on Jim, not me. But yeah, you got away for watching child porn on the company USB. It's, I don't understand how that works, it just seems like you throw around money and you get away with anything. But, as well, which what something Jim Sterling has been saying, he's been talking about, which is, um, fire Bobby Kotick because he thinks it's bad for the company and I'm not going to disagree with that but in comparison he's not only the CEO of a publisher whereas he, uh, Randy's a CEO of a developer company that works for a publisher as the only thing that Bobby Kotick really does bad is how he treats his workers in terms of what the, the publisher would see on their side of things they would just see a ton of profit being raked in constantly a constant uh, influx of money constantly doing better and better with each um, year also with a, ex a couple of exceptions um, but but with Randy it's it's complete anarchy you know he, he he's completely just slandering his own and the company's images time and time again We've seen that since cloning marines and so forth. Like the guy's just a fucking child, pretty much, just a screaming fucking angry little baby that just goes off on tangents any any fucking chance he can, and he's representing the whole company every time. I mean, when he was sitting there talking about Bloody Borderlands Three, I saw that developer just standing there awkwardly looking at him like, "Please stop talking. Please don't say any more." Like, as if he was putting, like, a huge amount of work on him when he was opening his mouth or something, you know. Which makes me wonder if he's made any actual lies there about Borderlands 3 or said anything that's not actually in the game. Which I can't confirm, to be sure. But the general consensus I'm going for here is that Randy isn't really a good person, you know. And between the two, I'd say Randy... It's absurd that he hasn't been fired by 2K already, but some some people start to think that he can't even be fired because he is a CEO, much like Bobby Kotick. But between the two, I'd say he's a lot more fireable than Bobby Kotick is. Even though I do think Bobby Kotick should be fired, it's like the difference is it's absurd that he is around. I mean, some people like that I was talking to, it's like, well, you know, with the child porn thing, maybe. Um, 2K was involved in maybe they're just you know keeping him around because he he could screw him over with something there which is a possibility but I don't know I don't know enough about that to really you know talk about it too far but it is quite weird to me that that not many people are really saying doing the like fire fucking you know like the outrage culture people being like fire randy because it's like randy's way fucking worse than bobby kotick yeah bobby kotick is kind of a greedy person and that's generally who the outrage culture goes towards because of, you know whoever's worse to the actual community or the general consumer is who they're going to be mad at the most not the one that's just an absolutely fucking lunatic that's bad for the company and everyone around them that's um, five minutes for a topic, wow, I don't even need a script that or anything. But yeah, the, the, this was a video pretty much just so we could have a video where I get to play Gato <laughs> Uh I, I don't know how else I can squeeze it into any other video. Unless I just have random gameplay videos, but no one's going to watch that. Suicide.